First of all, I loved episode number seven. Oh, and it's hot. I, um, you know, when uh, when she introduced Annie to me, I was oh okay, this is gonna be Annie. This is uh, this is this is Madame Lucia, and um, yeah, now I I really like her. She's pretty. Um, I, I love how how Jean and Annie are conversing, how they're how they're talking. There's so many sweet things they're saying. On the other hand, it's the end of the episode with the kiss and and uh, uh, when Anil uh, left, it was like, "Oh, come back, please. We want to see you again soon." Um, on the other hand, I'm really going to look forward to the whole Annie storyline. Um, oh, and I really would love to see more about Tracy. Uh, we know we know quite a lot about her, but we never uh, saw her, and in with 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 uh, the people she's with. Maybe it's not necessary, but I would love to see that. Just if you have something Swiss German for us, oh. not Swedish people, <laughs> Swiss German. Stand a fuzzy, hey no no I have four things. Number one. People should stop with the hating. If you don't like it, don't watch it. If you want to continue watching it, then how about you criticize in a constructive way? I am pretty sure Team Venice wants to hear what they could do better. If you tell them in a polite manner and not in a hateful way. If you attack the team you don't have to be surprised that Crystal ain't gonna be very happy. Those are her friends. Number two, the writing. Um, they admitted in the very beginning that um, they'll have to change that because um, they did uh, like uh, a movie and now they cut it into pieces. And for a web series, you kind of need to have a story arc for each episode. And they said that they're gonna um, do it better in season two. So, um, that's one thing. The other thing, um, Kimmy, in my opinion, writes well. How she handles the emotion, how she, how she um, sets up the characters, the storyline. I like it. And it's a soap opera, so I expect cliché writing um, and certain parts. I expect it to be over the top in other parts, because that's how soap operas work. So, um, I'd actually be disappointed if uh, the writing uh, weren't, uh, it, I'd actually be disappointed if there weren't any cliches or any moments where it's completely over the top. Number three, <laughs> Gina. She's self-involved, selfish, she's using Annie and um, she's hurting Annie and she knows it. You don't sleep with someone and then don't call them until you fall apart because of your father. That's wrong. Um, that's using somebody and I'm pretty sure if we were um, friends with Annie and she would tell us about it we'd be like uh, why are you still around that woman just you know move on she's not good for you that's a big flaw but unfortunately also <laughs> it's just exactly the type of character that I totally think <laughs> so I have much love for Gina and um, Crystal plays her in a brilliant way, so... Uh, number four. They are not Atalia. At all. I cannot at any moment actually see Atalia in them. And that's good, because I never wanted Atalia. I don't know the two as lovers. What is their past? How did they meet? How long were they together? Everything. So I'm, I'm not connected to them as much as I should be to really feel bad for the like end of that relationship i watched it and i was like okay that's sad um uh, i want those two together but without actually wanting them to be together because i don't know them yet i'm pretty sure that if it goes on in two three seasons uh when i rewatch this scene i'm gonna be like crying Maybe because I might or might not be a sap. We're not gonna discuss this. Jessica Lechia is so 
beautiful. So beautiful. You look cranky. You need to get laid. Maybe in a threesome or something. You know, they should really give that a name. You know, like, like? PMS or something. You know, something PMS? Like so uh, this is something you get in, in the afternoons usually? Not PM. PMS. Premenstrual syndrome. It's, uh, it's a syndrome. Yes, it is. So, so you admit that so something sometimes you have uh, some sickness like in your head. Yeah. Um. They really should name it. You know. Um, you're cranky. You're not getting laid like if you guys. Like they call it getting blue balls. You know, you're really cranky, and cranky for a long time, you get a role in the sequel of Avatar. At least we get a role in a movie. You only get a grave because you got a shovel on your head. Oh, buried alive, like Carly. Sexy. Yeah. You know what women do after sex? No, tell me. Annoy. No, at least we can do this and look good.